All righty then. Yes, I'm recording. All right. So, long overdue episode of The Medalist and the return after many, many months of Mrs. Medalist. There she is. So this is kind of an impromptu thing we're doing tonight. This sort of started, what, less than an hour ago, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> we were discussing the band Dokken, mm -hmm. which is definitely under the category of things hard rock and metal, right? They got blamed for being a hair band a little too much, but I think they're okay with where they uh, ended up. So we start talking about favorite Dokken tunes, and then uh, it was brought up, hey, why don't we do a show? Where we talk about our 10 favorite Dokken songs. I said, okay, here's what we'll do. You write yours down. I'll write mine down. We'll go back and forth. We'll kind of compare notes, see which ones are kind of the same, which ones are different. So we're going to just do that. We're just going to start off with number 10, and uh, I'll let you go first. So what's your number 10 favorite Dokken song? Alone Again. Alone Again. Okay, the big ballad. <laughs> We have seen Dokken together twice. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, the wife has never seen them with George. Uh, the first time was, what, about 2000? Mm -hmm. With about 2000. Uh, Red Beach, mm -hmm. which was a great show. That was a good show. Yeah. Then we saw him a couple years later, and John Norm was playing guitar, one of my favorite guitar players personally, but not that good a show. There was uh, some issues in the audience with just some people being stupid and uh, things like that. So, okay, so Lone Again... So, ten, number 10, mm -hmm. any particular reason? No. No? You just like it. That's cool. Some tunes you just like, right? Okay, my number 10 is Burning Like a Flame. Oh, okay. And some people don't like that as well as others. <laughs> but I think George has kind of a, a cool little, uh, little riff in there at the beginning that I really like, and I, I like the chorus. So... My number 10 is Burning Like a Flame. Back to you for number nine. We're not going to play the songs? No. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> then we have copyright problems. Oh, okay. Um, number nine is one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That was from Race the Slate. That was the album with Red Beach. Mm -hmm. And that's actually a Three Dog Night cover. Nice. Nice choice. I love Three Dog Night. Yeah, mm -hmm. she does, in fact, like Three Dog Night. Yes. If they'd have done Never Been to Spain, you'd have oh, really went nuts. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a really good cover. That's um, a good one. That's a good cover. Another one is uh, from the beginning. They did an Emerson Lincoln cover thing. Um, I think that's on Dysfunctional, and then they had it on One Live Night. So that, that's, that's a good choice. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, my number nine is Heaven Sent. And again, kind of a, a cool little solo from George on that one. You'll find a lot of mine are kind of more George related. I think hers are going to be a little more Don related. Uh, but yeah, like cool little kind of kind of subdued solo from uh Can't you just play George. a little snippet of it? No, dear. Oh, okay. Then I have to pull up YouTube and have all that stuff ready to go. Okay. <laughs> maybe we'll do some, we'll try to do some reaction videos maybe where we actually do, you know, listen to some stuff. and. Okay. Hopefully we won't get pulled down for copyright. I don't think we're popular enough yet to be copyrighted, but we'll see. Right. Okay. So heaven sent for number nine. Going back to you for number eight. Number eight from the beginning. Yeah, I just mentioned that. And here she is. So she's kind of kind of digging the covers. That's cool. I love it. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we were big fans of the uh, One Live Night album and CD. We used to uh, watch and listen to that quite a bit. So I could see why you probably like those couple of songs mm -hmm. in particular. I mean, one wasn't on there, but from the beginning was. So yeah. very cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, my number eight is Just Got Lucky. Kind of one of the big hits. Um, I think, actually, it seems like you're delving a little deeper into the catalog than I do. Mm. Um, like I said, a lot of mine are kind of the songs that everybody's like, well, yeah, everybody knows that too. And well, yeah, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, so not digging too deep. I mean, I think you'll find a couple of them that – are a little deeper cuts for me. But yeah, uh, just got lucky, kind of a big hit for them. And uh, usually one of the, the last tunes of the evening when we go go see them live. But uh, that's my number eight. Uh, back to you for number seven. One of my personal favorites. No, they're all personal favorites. Crazy Mary. Whoa! Definite deep cut there. Nice. Crazy Mary Goes Round. Now, Wild Mick sings that one. Wild Mick Brown. <laughs> that is a cool song. I do like that song a lot. Man, she is pulling out the, 
the big guns on me here. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So another one from Erase the Slate. Right. Very cool. Very cool. I might have something coming up from that album here in a little bit, but no, Crazy Mary Goes Round. Nice. Crazy Mary Goes Round. Uh, I'm thoroughly impressed. All right. Cool. All right. All right. So we're up to what? Number six, right? Yes. No, number seven. Okay. We're no. on seven. Yeah, you just did seven, right? Right. Okay, right. so I'm doing seven now. Uh, my number seven, I can picture the truck as we speak. Oh, yes. The video for It's Not Love. Ooh. Yeah, nice. good song. Really like the the riff on that one. Uh, mm-hmm. Don sounds great on that one. The video's fun. They're, they're on a big semi going through uh, probably, I would assume, Hollywood or L.A. or something like that. But a uh, pretty cool video. But, mm-hmm. yeah, really dig that one a lot. So number seven right. for me is It's Not Love. Back to you for number six. It's Not Love. Okay, there we go. So we're kind of on the same page with that one. You're a big fan of the video, too. Oh, yes. Big fan. <laughs> yeah, I and, love it. Yeah, it's, it's a fun video. Yeah. I like the part. You remember the part where Don is up above Mick, and all of a sudden Mick and just the, throws yeah. a stick up. Remember stick, that? Yeah, and yeah, Don's yeah. Like, <laughs> That's a fun video. And now, most of these songs did have videos, so mm-hmm. we, you know, we kind of have the visual with those guys. But again, like I said, they, they weren't a particularly good hair band. I mean, they didn't. They were better than a hair band, in my opinion. And, uh, but okay. So, yeah, cool. Uh, number six, then for me, is The Hunter. Good song, good driving bass line okay. from, uh, from our, our buddy Jeff Pilsen. We actually met Jeff Pilsen, it was about 2000 oh, I think, somewhere. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we were married yet. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. And we had an opportunity to talk to Jeff for a little bit. It was very cool. Signed a couple uh, CDs for us and that kind of thing. So, very nice. But yeah, uh, the hunter is another one that has a video. Uh, dig that one a lot. And uh, back to you for number five. Breaking the chains. Breaking the chains, going all the way back. Uh, interesting story about breaking the chains. That album actually, there's two different versions of that album. And I mean, when I say two different versions, it's not like oh, this has got an extra song on it or something like that. They're pretty much completely different. And one of them actually came out as Don Dockin rather than Dockin. And Don does have another solo I'm up from the ashes. We were talking about that a little bit. We decided not to include any songs from that because it wasn't mm-hmm. technically a docking record. Mm-hmm. But uh, some good stuff on there. I had a heck of a band. Uh, John Norm was his guitar player. And again, John played in a version of docking around 2002 or something like that. Because like, so we did see them as well. Yeah. Um, he had Mickey D from King Diamond and Motorhead on the drums. He had Peter Baltes from... Uh, Except in some rhythm guitar player, I don't remember. I, I don't know of him anywhere else. But it was pretty much a superstar band. So he had a he had a good good band there. So very cool. All right, so we're up to number five, correct? Is that what you just said, number five? Great. Okay. All right. So my number five is Erase the Slate, title oh, track from that album. Nice. Um, pretty heavy rocking song. I like that one a lot. They lead the album off with that one. But uh, she mentioned a couple other good tracks from that album. Race of Slate was a pretty strong record after some kind of weirdness with uh, George there coming in and out and you know, dysfunctional and Shadow Life, which was kind of a strange record. But uh, so, yeah, Race of Slate, you know, it's just a good rocking, uh, a little more fast paced thing. And uh, back to you for number four. Into the Fire. Into the Fire. Good call. Yeah, that's Into the fire. exactly. Okay, I, I think you'll be hearing that one again here pretty soon, just saying. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's your number four then? Yes. Okay, good chorus on that one, right? Absolutely, yeah, into the bio. Okay, so sort of along the same lines, number four for me is Unchain the Night. Oh. So, really good time. Very know, good. Great song there, yeah, one of, one of their best, I think. Okay. Obviously, I <laughs> got it at number four. So we're up to the top three. Where are you going with the top three? Number three, In My Dreams. In My Dreams. Mm-hmm. Another big hit, usually the final song of a, a docking set. Okay. Um, very cool. Now, again, big chorus. Um, kind of a big hit for them. I don't know if they ever had any, like, big top 40 hits, but they had a lot of sort of, you know, rock hits and hits on MTV and that kind of thing. So very cool. All right. Oh, here we go. Where are we going? Number two. We're up to number two, or no? If I did my, I didn't do my third yet, have I? My third is into the fire, which I think you already mentioned. Yeah, that was number four. Yeah, so that's my number three. So I, I like it even a little better than you do. So yeah, classic song there, very cool. 
Now we're up to your number two. The Hunter. The Hunter. Good call. I had that one a little further up my list, but yeah, another great song. What do you like about The Hunter? It's just raw. Yeah. Like right? I said, good it's driving raw. bass from Jeff. Right. Yeah, very cool. Okay. It's just, they lay the track down. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they definitely got a good groove on that one. I they agree. do. Absolutely. All right. Back to me for number two. My number two is Lightning Strikes Again. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Another, you know, like I said, another kind of heavy rocker one, you know, but yeah. yeah. Uh, some good uh, good vocals from Don on that right. one. Unfortunately, if you've seen any videos of Don recently, uh, the voice is gone. It's sad. It's sad. And the weird part is George keeps showing up at his shows. I'm like going, guys, where were you like 20 years ago doing this? You know, should have been doing it back then, but that's all right. Okay, here we are. Top of the list. What do we got? Is it my turn? It is. Just got lucky. Ah, good song. Very good song. Like I say again, that one was a little further up my list, but no, uh, no complaints for that one. Just got lucky is your number one. Very cool. Just got lucky. Okay, good stuff. So my number one is a little bit of a, an oddball tune, but it's one I really like. I, I love George's riffs on this one, and uh, my number one is When Heaven Comes Down. Do you remember that one? I do remember that one. But yeah, it's, it's funny because sometimes when, like you say, when, on your list and stuff, you know, I mean, when you said like one and Crazy Mary, I'm like, oh, those are great songs. I didn't think right. of those. Exactly. And that's the fun part. You know, you think of different things than I think. Right. And, you know, the folks out there think of different things as well. So, uh, yeah, my number one is When Heaven Comes Down. So that's our list. And uh, like I said, we'd love to hear your list. Um, which tunes you like, which ones you don't like. Uh, maybe some, like I said, these aren't particularly deep cuts per se. You know, if there's some deep cuts you think we missed, you know, maybe we'll do a reaction video on it or something like that. But again, uh, we appreciate you guys checking us out. And uh, thank you, Mrs. Medalist, for showing up. Always. And uh, we, get, we will see you all again next time. So thanks for watching.